Welcome to Secrets of SI9000E. This is one of a series of presentations which shows you some of the lesser known features of the Polar SI9000 and this presentation shows you how to compare modelled S parameters with results measured on a vector network analyzer. The presentation will show you how to use the import touchstone facility which you select by selecting the third icon on the right of the SI9000 toolbar. In this example, I'll show you how to compare the measured versus the modelled insertion loss on a 50 ohm strip line. In order to do the comparison, we need to set up the field solver with the correct geometric data from the structure. Now here I've already entered the data, I'll look at this in mils. 10 mil height, dielectric constant of 4.2, 10 mil height below the substrate, trace width, and I'll run the calculation just to check we've got a 50 ohm strip line. Then move to the frequency dependent tab on the SI9000. Here you can see the line length is set at 8 inches, and the frequency calculation is set to run from 10 to 20 gigahertz in 20 steps. Remember those figures and we'll look at that in a bit more detail in the next screen. But now I'll run the calculation and you can see in the graphing area we have a graph of conductor loss, dielectric loss, attenuation without roughness, adding in the roughness we've then got the total attenuation with roughness for this 8 inch strip line that's 50 ohm impedance. By clicking on this icon, I can import measurement data from any source of touchstone files. In this case, we've brought in an S2P file for a strip line from a vector network analyzer, looking at an 8 inch strip line. Looking at the graph, if you remember on the previous screen, we were running up to 20 gigahertz. This graph runs all the way out to 50 gigahertz. So I'll select the file select the strip line, open this, import the data, and then click on overlay calculated S parameter data. You can see a message has come up here which says the S parameter data um, has not been calculated or doesn't match the touchstone data frequency range. What that means is that the calculation we made earlier only ran up to, to 20 gigahertz, and in this example we've got data up to 50 gigahertz and we need to make sure the field solver calculations match the exact data points measured on the VNA to get a good graph to compare the two data sets. So I'm going to accept that and say yes. The field solver's run through all of the frequency calculations generated by the VNA and predicted the insertion loss at those particular points. You can see from the graph here we've got a good correlation running up to about 35 gigahertz and it could be we're seeing the effects of the interconnect on the test vehicle here and you can see by selecting the phase that in fact between 25 and 30 gigahertz the phase is starting to misalign which shows there's some variation between the measured and the modeled. But going back to the magnitude it shows we've got very good correlation way out to well above 30 gigahertz. And that shows you just how easy it is to use the SI9000 to bring in vector network analyzer data. Thank you for viewing this presentation. And if you'd like more information or you'd like to have a web-based presentation, please contact your local Polar office and the details are shown on the following slide.